right, first of all, y'all got a Piggly Wiggly down in Louisiana. Oh, do you sure do? You we sure do. Yeah, yeah, come on, like. come on. <laughs> so, how are you feeling after your elim? Yeah. Did you know? Did you have a feeling today? Yeah, this whole week, this whole week, I did honestly. I mean, I feel like God sends us signs so we can prepare ourselves. And I was prepared. I mean, I feel like I went out with a bang, and this is not the last. Everybody see me, because I'm going to be on some more TV, so. That's right. That's right. So tell me, um, you gave Amber a little peck on the cheek at the very end, and can you elaborate on that a little bit? Can I hear a little more? Anything going on I should know about? Or everybody? You still single? Cricket, 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 cricket. <laughs> well, let's see. So, um, since the show started, you have lost some weight, and why is that? Is it because of stress? Is it because it's oh. a crazy ride? If stress was that easy, I would have been lost. It, but no, that's not why. I mean, I lost it because I was on the show, and the show really motivated me because I knew it was gonna happen in the future. Yeah. So, you know, I just figured I should do it so I can have other things. You know, time that I can focus on other things and not trying to lose weight. So I did that and lost it for 40 pounds, and I'm trying to lose some more. There you go. Motivation, people. Get on to American Idol. You might lose some weight, hey? Hey. <laughs> so tell me about the emotional journey of this whole process. What was it like for you? Um, It was good. It really was. Um, like I said, I feel like my work is done. Yeah. It's just time for me to do some more work, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to give everybody the opportunity to forget about me. You know, I'm going to do my work behind the scenes while I can, you know, while I have time off. So when it's time for me to launch things out, I can launch things out and be prepared. Yeah. That's a good way. And so you're excited about the tour, right? I mean, you got a lot of work coming up. Yes, I'm excited about the tour. I mean, Idol Tour, if somebody told me I would have been on anybody tour, um, I wouldn't have believed it. But the fact that I'm on the Idol Tour, I just, I'm so, so speechless. I don't know what to say, but I'm, I want, I'm not a selfish person, so everybody that's on the tour, I want us to kill it. Every, every city, I want it to be killed because I feel like we all have the potential, and if one look bad, we all look bad, and we're a family, so we got to look good. So you're saying you all are like a family. So who were you closest to as far as, I mean, were you all like tight-knit, everybody brothers and sisters, or was it like... How was it? Tell me. I loved all of them, but me and Candace became extremely close. What did Candace say to you when you got, did she N say anything? Not much. She told me that she loved me, and I told her she better kill it. All of them better kill it. I love that. I love that. And then there was something else we were going to ask about. Was there anything else that I missed here? You were fantastic. Your voice is amazing, and you know you have so much, so much you have so much to do after this, so just be excited. and I mean, just enjoy every moment, you know. You're going to love it. It's such an amazing experience. You guys are going to have so much fun. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, I need to wrap it up, don't I? Okay. So I'm here with Brunel. He's amazing, and he has so much coming up. So y'all keep your eye out for him because he's going to rock it on stage and on the tour this summer. So go see him, okay? Brunel, anything to say to your fans or anything to say to the public um, watching? I love y'all so much. This is not the end of me. I'm coming for my lane. I'm claiming it right now. So be prepared because I'm coming. What? Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>